Hi friends, thank you all so much for coming back to Craft With Me and welcome if you're new to my channel. My name is Alyssa and today we'll be making these very cute expandable pocket envelopes or pouches and we're going to be using our 6x6 six six paper pads today. So I'm just going to get right into it and show you these two samples that I made and I did tie them shut with just some twine here and some string on this one. So I'm just gonna slide that off. And it's pretty much just this cute little expandable envelope that you can fill with tons of different goodies. So, I mean, in this one, I've just got a little journaling card, reasons to be happy, a little sequin pack. And then this is just like a floating pocket that I made with the remaining um, off cut from one of the six by six papers we'll be using. And I just stuck this little cutout in it that says, use your voice. So there's plenty more space in here to tuck a bunch of other things inside. And then in the back, I have a pocket as well. So I just put some other little cutouts inside of there. And then this one over here is the same idea. So in this one, I have a mocha coffee pack. You can put coffee, a tea bag in here. I did have to fold it over because this one was a bit tall. And also just a little stick of chocolate. So that's in this one. And then in the back pocket, I've got a tag here that I made from, again, that little off cut from one of the six by six papers and it opens up so you can journal inside or you can write a little note if you're giving this to somebody. This could be like the little card that you give them. And I just stuck an extra journaling card as well. Super cute. So these are really fun little pouches here and I'm gonna show you the two different ways that I made these. So you can see on the side here um, my little accordion folds here are smaller than this one here. So it's really just scoring the accordion folds a little bit differently. And I'll, I'll just show you that um, when we get right into the tutorial. It doesn't give you really any more or any less room. It's just, I guess, a preference um, because these folds can get a little tiny. So let's just go ahead and jump into the tutorial and we can make these together. All right, so we're gonna grab two six by six papers and we're gonna start with the one that you want to be the body of your little envelope. So um, this part here. So let me just flip this and line it up at one of the six inch sides. And we're gonna do our accordion folds first. So we're gonna score this one at a quarter of an inch, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, and one inch. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four little sections here. And then we're gonna flip this to the opposite side and just do the same scoring. So a quarter of an inch, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, and then one inch. So if these little scores are too small for you, you can just go ahead and score at half an inch and one inch and it will still work out and give you an expandable pocket. It will just end up looking like this as opposed to this. So I mean it's really just preference but I like the smaller accordion folds personally so that's how I'm gonna do this one today. All right, um, and then we have one more score to make. So back to here, we're just going to flip this now to the other six inch side. So now we have our scores here at the top and the bottom. 
and we're just going to score right down the middle at three inches. And then we're just going to cut two slits. So one right here along this score line and then this one on the opposite side. So when I cut my little slits, I kind of do like a very skinny triangle. Like that. So there's my little triangle. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna turn this around and do the same thing over on this side. So just cut out that little triangle piece. And then we're going to start by folding our accordion folds. So the way I do it is I take the innermost folds on both sides and fold those inward first. So here's the innermost score line here, and I'm going to fold that inward. And then the next score line, I'm going to fold the opposite way. The next score line, I'm going to fold inward. And the last one is going to be folded outward. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So I fold everything over first towards the inside. And then just simply accordion fold this until you have folded all the score lines over. And then we'll do the same thing to this part as well. Again, if these scores are too small for you, obviously you can just score at half an inch and one inch to create your little accordion folds here. And that's probably a little bit easier to do. These can get kind of finicky, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> and then next we're just going to fold this in half where we scored right in the middle. So I'll just bring this side up like so. Then we're going to grab our glue and just glue our little accordions together. So just pop some glue along these tabs here. And Let's just put some glue on the bottom ones too. Okay, and then we'll just join them together like this. And press that down, let it dry. So let's put this aside for now and grab your other sheet of six by six paper and we're going to cut this down to a little less than four by six. So I'm going to go like three and seven eighths and just slice that. This little strip here is going to be the off cut that you can use elsewhere in your little pouch. So I'll just put that aside. And then with this sheet here, we're just going to, let me turn it over, line this up at the six inch side, and we're going to score this at two and a half and three inches. So two and a half and three. And this little two and a half inch section is gonna be the lid that closes over your um, little pouch there. So let's just fold our score lines over. Okay, 
You can round your lid if you want to. Oops, that didn't work. There we go. All right. I think we're done with that. So this part here, we're going to just slide on the inside of our pouch. So, I mean, you can put it as far down as you want or as high up as you want. Um, if you want that little pocket in the back, this is going to be the back of our lid. So I'm going to pop some glue on the sides here, but only about halfway up. So maybe even a little less than halfway. It's really up to you how far up you want to go. So I'm just putting glue about there. And then you can go ahead and slide this into your pocket just as it is, or you can also pop some glue at the bottom here. It just depends on how deep you want your pocket to go. So if you just glue it down like this, um, your pocket's gonna go all the way down to the bottom of this pouch here. If you put a line of glue at the bottom here, then your pocket's not gonna be as deep. It's only gonna go to the end of this portion here, if that makes any sense at all. So let me just do it that way. I'm going to pop some glue at the bottom here as well, because that's how I did it with my other ones. And I'm just going to slide this now into the back of my pouch. All right, and just keep sliding it down until there's no glue showing. And you can kind of just open this up and press down at the bottom here. So now I just have like a small little pocket back here. And you also want to take your bone folder or something flat and just kind of pry this pocket open because you might get some excess glue stuck to the back here. So you kind of just want to slide this um, back and forth just to make sure that this whole thing isn't glued down. But of course you can just glue this whole thing down and not even have a pocket back there either. Um, so that's an option too. Okay, so once that is dry, I'm just going to show you, mine's not completely dry, but um, I'm just going to take this card as an example. So if I stick this in my back pocket, the pocket is not very deep because I had added that line of glue at the bottom of this paper here. So it only goes down about that far. If I hadn't added the glue at the bottom of this paper, it would just go all the way down. Does that make sense? <laughs> Hopefully it does. So you can do it either way. In fact, I will probably show you that way as well. But that's basically it for this little expandable pocket envelope. And so you can put tons of things inside here. Um, depending on how high up you glued your lid here, it will also fit like little flower seed packets. This one I already opened, but um, I still had the bag, so I want to just show you, like you could stick a ton of these in here as well, and that would be so cute to give to someone for spring. I think that's adorable. And then you can also just um, enclose this with a Velcro dot or any other type of enclosure besides a ribbon or a string, but I like the ribbon and the string going around. I think that's cute. And then for this little off cut here, tons of different options you can do with this as well. You can cut this in half and make another little pocket on the back here and then one in the front here too. With another one, I made that floating pocket. So I just folded this up and glued down these sides to make a little floating pocket. You can just fold it in half this way and make a little like greeting card with it. So. 
tons of different options that you can do. So maybe I'll just do that and I can stick that in the back here too and have it be like a little greeting card for whoever I give this to. So maybe I'll stick a little flower sticker on there as well. Just like that and then you can write a little note in here. So I'll stick that one in the back. I'm just gonna use this twine and I'm gonna wrap it around like so. And just tie a little bow. Hopefully I gave myself enough twine. <laughs> Barely enough twine, <laughs> but how cute is that? And let me just cut a little bit off there. All right, so there's this one. I love how this one came out. I love these colors. And I'm gonna make one more as well. And I'm gonna grab two more sheets of six by six papers here. And we're gonna just score these the same exact way. So, well, not really, because I'm gonna do this one. Um, rather than doing every quarter of an inch, I'm gonna do this one at half an inch and one inch for my little accordion folds. So half an inch and one inch. I'll just flip this to the opposite side and then do the same thing, half an inch and one inch, and then flip this to the other six inch side and score at three inches. All right, so same idea though with this one. And then we'll just cut out our little triangles here. Right. And then again with this one, take your innermost score line and fold that inward first. And then this one's going backwards. I have like dried up glue all over my hands. <laughs> And then just fold this in half. Then let's pop some glue on our little tabs here. And fold this over. And I try to line up the tabs when I glue them down, but sometimes if you don't score things perfectly, they don't always line up perfectly, but that's okay. So there's our little pouch, and then we're gonna cut down our other six by six to about three and seven eighths by six. And again, we'll score this now at two and a half and three inches for our lid. I'm gonna apply my glue on the sides here again. Just about halfway up. And then I'm not going to put glue at the bottom here. I'm just gonna leave it on the sides just so I can show you as well how that works out. So just slide this in the back, push it down until you don't see your glue anymore. 
I'm just gonna grab this as an example. It says chill, <laughs> but um, when you put something in this back pocket, it's gonna go all the way down to the bottom of your pouch here because we didn't add that extra line of glue at the bottom of this one. So if I open this pouch up, you can kind of see the card on the inside there. It'll just be showing through like that. But yeah, tons of different ways that you can construct this little pocket here. Again, you can put all sorts of goodies inside. So um, even for Easter, like you can just put little candies inside. I have this little chocolate here. Let me throw in another journaling card. Even like the little pouch of sequins that I showed you in the beginning as well, just little gifts like that can go inside here. I've got some stickers. Oh, I forgot my little strip here. <laughs> Let's see. This one. You know, maybe I'll just do another pocket in the back here. So I'll just cut this in half at three inches there. Glue down three sides, and then I've got another little pocket in the back here. And then this I can just make into like a little journaling card or something like that. And that can be just a cute little extra card that goes inside of the envelope here. So there's that one. Tie my little bow and this one is good to go. Oh wait, but I didn't put anything in the back here. <laughs> How about just another little sticker? We'll pop that in there for some extra goodies. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I absolutely love envelopes in general, you guys know that. So these mini expandable pocket envelopes are just so adorable and great for gift giving. So give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel as well for more crafty fun and inspiration and I'll see you all in my next video. Happy crafting everybody!